the championship match. Bowling for $124,000. That's right. The victor, 80. The runner-up, 44. Monticelli has never won a major. Columbia has won in this bowling center in 1987, but he has never won a major also. Monticelli with that opening strike. Ron Columbi is 27 years old from Erie, Pennsylvania. He won here in 87, as Bo said. He won from the top seed right here at Woodland Bowl. Tough player, paid his dues out here on the tour. Strong in the clutch. Good break for Columbi, who was in the last block last night in match play. He was seven and one loss. Ron Palombi, six feet, three inches tall. You see, he doesn't use his quite a neat, deep knee bend like some of the other players aloft that well out over the lanes. Likes the lanes dry, likes that inside line. Was very tough in match play as he won 18 of the 24 matches and defeated all the 20, all the five finalists as he averaged better than 240 against the four other opponents. He's playing deep inside, rolling here and right between the third and fourth arrows to take an early lead. Leaving the two pin, man with a lot of body English at the line, Ron Plumby, Erie, Pennsylvania, with three titles. His last one was in Rochester in 88. He won his first title in Tucson in 1984, Chris, when his opponent, Mark Fay, got five pins on the last ball, mm -hmm. allowing Plumby to get three strikes to win by one. So he's definitely an opportunist. Strike and center for Plumby. This is a match to determine the United States Open champion. Monticelli, seven titles, winning the Japan Cup for his very first victory. The full grip, see if he stretches out the foul line. When Monticelli reaches long, has a lot of extension, he's very tough. Monticelli definitely has the advantage as our U.S. Open champion Mike Albee and House Pro said that this right-hand lane hooks a lot more. Seems like Amolino has made the, the, uh, the move. He trips out to four. When he goes high, he can strike. Not so bad. Now he has to just nail down this lane. A U.S. Open champion must take the opportunity when it lends itself. Can take a 20-pin lead. Mm. Seen much. that before today, haven't we? <laughs> Not much more you can do. Monticelli throws a nice, disciplined shot, a lot of power, and leaves a solid 10. And this match will be close. Six pins, second pin on the right hand part of your screen, just flies around the 10 pin. Monticelli, once again, must make his spares. He'll always get plenty of strikes. You know, Chris, the way to really learn the sport of bowling, especially for amateurs and fellow pros, is to learn it from the spares backwards. A lot of people try to become strike bowlers all the time instead of learning to make the spares, then make the clusters, then make the splits, and then work on your strike ball. Work from the back forward. Overhead shot, Columbia, the deep inside line on the hooking lane. So Ron Columbia, who earlier told us what he thought would it mean to him in winning the Open. Well, it's, uh, it would be title number four, first of all, but the thing I want to do most is win a major championship. I feel that even though I have been a steady player out here with three titles, I need to go that next step, and a major is that step. It's right now, today, live for Palumbi and Monticelli. Palumbi needs a strike to take the lead. Dancing off the deck in the U.S. Open. We'll bring you more of this title game following this. Fans love bowling in Indianapolis, capital city. 
standing room only watching Monicelli. Monicelli. Strike in the fourth. Anxiously and rapidly moves to the left lane to shoot in the fifth. Good shot by Monicelli and backing up Indianapolis. Uh, one of the TV journals uh, quoted Indianapolis as being a town that never found a sport that it didn't like, Chris. <laughs> That's if you, true. If you ever come to Indianapolis, you'll see a thriving town, a great town. Amateur sports capital of the world of the day, the bowling mecca. This is the U.S. Open. Another 10 on the left lane for Emletto. Monticelli pretty well zeroed in, pretty disciplined, has two strikes, a 10-pin, a strike, a 10-pin, and is uh, soon-to-be former U.S. Open champion, as you see the brother and wife of Amleto Monticelli, Mike Albee, said, just keep it in play. That'll win this match. You don't need a big score, and that's what Monticelli's doing so far. His opponent, Ron Palumbi, said uh, last night he had one mission today, and that was to make a lot of strikes. Well, he has a double up now, shooting in the fifth frame. He's been solid in the hole right here on the right-hand lane, the first and third frame. He's got a two pin on the left lane in the second and tripped the two in the fourth. He needs to make that trip two count. It'll be a 20 pin difference by getting a strike here on this particular shot. Probably slightly disturbed, somebody coughing in the background and I'm sure they'll reset the clock. It was easy to hear from uh, even the announce booth. They gave him a reset, 25 seconds. In this one game, $80,000 to the winner. Three in a row now, and the tournament leader, Ron Columbi, Aviri, out to an 11-pin lead. Packed crowd, 80-lane bowling center, more than 25,000 people have attended the tournament, and they like the action of Ron Columbi as he takes advantage of that Lucky strike in the fourth to open 11 pin lead. You can see how he defeated Monicelli in the 56th game to take the lead. Right now he must get zeroed in here on the left hand lane. He has one lucky strike and a two pin. Can make it four in a row. Seems really determined. Ron Palumbi came out on the tour. The great big hook has cut it down, learned to play the pro tour conditions, power with a minimum amount of hook. As you see, Monicelli, who's learned the same lesson, trailing by 21 pins, six frame. I had three, six, 10. Trouble for Monicelli. First ball out of the pocket. Normally when he hits the pocket, he strikes every time. When he's hit the pocket five, the first five frames, he only has three strikes to show for it as his first errant shot, the 3-6-10. And for most of the top pros, a pretty easy spare. Monicelli completely a strike bowler most of the time. This could be an adventure. Spare for Monicelli in a city that's noted for its many volunteers. Sports Festival, Pan American Games, you name it, the volunteers come out and are perfect hosts and hostesses. It's been that way and that's another reason the, the city has advanced and progressed to the point that it has. Monticelli, the deep inside line, he actually starts here. He'll drift over into this area with his footwork and start the ball between the third and fourth arrows. Seemingly realizing that there's $36,000 difference winning or finishing second. Three-year exemption, the Firestone. Monticelli likes it. Best shot of the match, no doubt. Solid in the pocket. For Ron Palumbi, this is the time to just take it one shot at a time. Don't think about the title. Just, just one ball. 